Hi guys, welcome back. I do apologise, uh, first of all, for the gap in content. Um, obviously we are now in a hard lockdown here in the UK um, and I didn't prepare for that. I, uh, I didn't have any pre-recorded content for me to release during the lockdown and I just haven't been able to uh, get anything together to actually make for you, to make some interesting content for you. Um, I haven't been idle though. I have started a podcast myself, um, Eddie from the Somerset Hunters and Johnny from TGS. Um, are now doing a bi-weekly podcast called The Broken Gun. Um, the three of us um, imbibe alcohol and talk about shooting. Um, it's uh, available on all the major podcast platforms and I highly recommend you go and take a look. Based on the feedback we've had so far, a lot of people seem to enjoy it. So, shameless plug, go take a look at The Broken Gun podcast. All right, so, um, I have managed um, to get some equipment which I thought would be seasonally appropriate. Gloves. Um, as you know, the channel is supported by Macwet. Now, the nature of that support is I met up with the owner of uh, the company last year at the shooting show. He noticed that I, I wore his gloves all the time whilst um, making the channel, and he offered to give me some. And I said, that's fantastic, thank you very much. But to say thank you, um, I offered to make him a channel supporter. So I've had half a dozen pairs of gloves off him, um, and he gets to have his logo on the channel. Um, it is as simple as that. But I, ha I was already using them. It wasn't a case of, um, you know, I I'm, I'm paid to play, shall we say. This pair of gloves is, I think, three or four years old. These are my cl or old Climatex. Um, this is a new pair. Um, there's the packaging. Um, there is a size chart on the back. Um, and they're the gloves I've always wanted for shooting, as simple as that. However, I found, uh, I got a dog recently. Um, Boxing Day, we picked up uh, a Springer and um, we've been working him uh, throughout the worst of the weather, outside in minus seven in the snow. And when you are picking a dummy out of a dog, <laughs> out of the dog's mouth that he's retrieved out of snow and puddles and dirt and God knows what else, um, when the gloves get wet, um, I, I was finding that my hands were getting severely cold. So I thought, I would try um, something else. Now, the other sort of glove that gets a lock of recommendations in shooting circles is seal skins. So I purchased a set of these. Uh, these are the seal skins uh, waterproof all weather glove. Um, so, you know, as you can see, they're, they're a bit dirty because I've been, uh, <laughs> they've been <laughs> definitely getting a bit of a workout in the weather. And I thought I would compare the two since people seem to, uh, uh, it's a topic of discussion, shall we say. So. In terms of the technical bits, um, these are uh, an all-weather waterproof glove, significantly thicker than the Macwets. We've definitely got multiple layers. We've got a waterproof layer and then a, um, a thick um, leather um, fascia to the, uh, to the palms and the fingers. The back of the glove is fabric. Um, and then we've got a fleece uh, lens wiper on the back of the thumb if you hate your specs and want to scratch them because the, your hands are covered in mud, uh, ideal. Um, neoprene cuff with a Velcro closure. Um, the, uh, apparently the fingers are pre-curved for dexterity. All right, the Macwet, these are the Climatex. Macwets come in two flavors. There's the Climatex and the Mesh. The Climatex is the warmer one. Uh, so we've got a neoprene back um, and a leather um, palm and fingers. These are sized very, very, very um, granularly, shall we say. These are basically get small, medium, large, extra large. These go from um, different sizes and half sizes. There's a size guide on the back of the packaging, which allows you to, uh, to size your, your hand and get an excellent fit. And kind of the point of these gloves is dexterity, all right? So if we're talking about um, dexterity, there is no contest. These are better, all right? Um, they fit really, really sort of close to your hand. When you first get a new set, they can be a little bit tight, but they tend to open. As I said, these are like three or four years old. Yes, I've retired them to sort of dog walking duty, but they're still perfectly functional as gloves. Um, the neoprene back is definitely the warmer of the two other than the micro mesh and the, uh, the summer weight glove. Um, and that's about it really. You get um, neoprene back, leather front. Um, this is the short cuff version. Um, obviously it means I, I don't foul my watch. Um, and these are the ones I prefer. Uh, if we talk about um, kind of the two uh, together, warmer, uh, a little bit, okay? If, if it's dry um, and it's not too windy, there's not a great deal in it, okay? Your hands are insulated by both, but as soon as the wind picks up and it starts raining, um, 
these do start to win out. These are dry, um, I will say that. They are definitely waterproof. Um, I've had my hands up the eyes and mud, etc., cetera, um, picking what the dog brings me back, and they definitely do stay dry. Uh, your hands stay dry. However, um, physics is physics, and if uh, the gloves are wet and it's windy, um, you do start to lose heat through the glove. You do, your hands do start to get cold regardless. I mean, it takes a lot longer in these than it does in these, um, but um, they do offer a degree of protection. Um, so water protection, wind protection, definitely the, uh, the seal skins win out, um, and, and to a degree uh, in the dry, glove for glove, these are a little bit warmer. But when it comes to the important thing in terms of dexterity, i.e. handling a gun or a firearm um, safely, there is no way on earth I would do it wearing these. Um, you just can't feel anything through the glove. When I've got the dog lead in my hand, I, I genuinely have to keep looking to make sure I've not dropped it because I can't feel it. I wouldn't be happy handling a firearm wearing these because I couldn't tell whether or not my finger was on the trigger without visually checking. I wouldn't be able to feel the safety on my semi-auto, for instance. Just, I wouldn't feel safe operating a firearm with these. I would take the hit in terms of thermal protection by wearing these, by keeping my hands in my pockets or wearing a mitten, perhaps. Um, I would check the whip off when I needed to use them. It's as simple as that. As an all-purpose glove working, probably these are a better choice if you need to be uh, uh, working a dog or maybe you're not actually operating a firearm. Um, great. I'm quite happy with them for that. Um, but as a shooting glove, 100% Mac wet. Uh, that's kind of it. If you have questions, ask below um, or comment. If you are a manufacturer of gloves or other, um, shall we say, um, shooting equipment and would like me to take a look at your products, do let me know. Um, obviously, I'm only looking at the two that I think are most pertinent. Um, the channel is, as ever, supported by Macwet, <laughs> Bio Shooting Ground and Hull Cartilage. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, do give me a, a like or a subscribe if you enjoy the channel. Um, we are um, approaching 11,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Um, follow me on Instagram, at Lloydie P. And of course, uh, please do take a look at the, uh, the Broken Gun podcast. Um, I think you'll find it funny. Guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.